morning everybody today I've got some exciting thing I wanted to show you you all might know those big large contikis called sea harvesters or something like that those big red contikis that people use to uh, get their long lines out from beaches but we had the campsite here at the moment and I met someone who has bought himself a mini contiki that can only take out five hooks and I wanted to show you guys this mini contiki as sort of a lightweight alternative to those big contikis and maybe an alternative to a drone so kind of excited to see how this works let's have a look So we met Arthur here at the campsite and he bought this um, Contiki. This one is a really small one, it's actually a mini Contiki and it takes out five hooks and it doesn't have like this huge propellers and stuff like that. And it was also way cheaper than those big Contikis. What did you pay for that Arthur? 900 bucks. That's actually really cheap compared to those uh, expensive Contikis. So we're gonna take that down to the beach in a minute but I just wanted to show you uh, how that's set up so you made up just a little uh, holder for that out of the pvc pipe eh? so that just uh, sticks in there and yeah look at this contiki that is super lightweight that's probably i don't know five kilos or something like that less than that and um, it's actually driven by jets instead of a big propeller so on those other contikis You'd have like this huge propeller down here and this one just got two jets and it's got a built-in uh, compass so when you set it it will always hold its course and then you got like uh, a bait compartment here I'll, I'll, i've got to connect the battery up. oh you got to connect the battery yep. yeah so that's the that's the battery connection here so you connect it up and boom some sort of rubber seal yeah. in it or something? Yeah. That's what the uh, fish seeker looks like. And uh, we're gonna take that to the beach. Oh yeah, and of course, you can actually use that with a surf caster because it's so lightweight, but uh, Arthur here, he's got a electric reel set up with it. So, that makes it a whole bunch easier to reel that back in and you got about 1000 meters line of it or 800, 800 meter of uh, 100 pound braid you got on there right? that's a pretty cool reel actually, a Shimano It was really rough the last couple days and now it's nice and calm and the water has cleared up so we might have some success. Fishing was actually really bad here the last couple days. Uh, we've done a bit of drone fishing and caught bugger all and everyone who was fishing here didn't catch anything. So this electric reel here has its uh, lithium battery and uh, Arthur strapped that onto the, um, onto the rod handle here and that's supposed to last quite a long time. How many? 10, 10 hours. 10 hours battery life on that reel, so that's, that's, a, that's a very long time. You know? For bait, we're using some squid today. We've got uh, about five pieces of squid there. We're going to set set the distance now. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, so one side is for opening, the other is for closing. All oh, no. right. So this 
all comes with a contiki, this clip, and uh, the main line here. The swivel came with a contiki as well? Yes. Alright, so there's the swivel here. So the main line comes, main line runs through the swivel and there's a, there's a guide here. It comes through here and attaches with that clip to the traces. What size of hooks are you using? Look Circle like it's, hooks. They look it's about a seven bar are they? Oh, look at that, that goes out really fast, eh? So, are there in this, on this reel, do you, is it just free spool now? Or yeah, do you, yeah, yeah. Do, does it have a slight drag no, setting to it? No, no. it just free spool. So, we're just coming up to 100 meters now. 100 meters now. I've set it for 500. That actually goes really fast. Eh? I mean, how easy is that? Huh? That's so much easier than using these uh, big S Contikis. It's so lightweight, so easy to carry to the beach. So guys, you might wonder what the heck is a Contiki? So I always thought Contiki is a Maori word and actually it's not a Maori word. Contiki is based on a raft that was used in an expedition in 1947 by an explorer who tried to Across the Pacific from South America to Polynesia with a wooden raft and he named his raft Contiki uh, after an old Inca god. So that's what Contiki actually means. It's not a Maori word. In New Zealand it was adapted as a name for a raft that's being used for beach fishing. A small version of that raft, basically a wooden raft with a sail, with a collapsible sail on top that was used to take out baits from the beach or long lines from the beach. So these lines they were attached to that wooden raft in an offshore wind and uh, the raft would drag your lines out to a couple hundred meters offshore and a lolly was used or like a piece of the sugar was used that would slowly dissolve in the water while the raft was being taken out by the wind and once the sugar dissolved the sail would collapse and the contiki would just sit there without being dragged out further so that's the original uh, contiki that's been used and now those sail contikis they have been replaced with you know those electronic devices it'll stop the catch will open and then it'll carry on a little bit further. And okay. that, 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 so you wouldn't be able to use the boat out there? No. So when the Contiki reaches its set distance of 500 meters in this case, it will stop, open the hatch and the hooks and sinker will drop to the bottom. Then the Contiki will move forward for another couple meters to actually set the sinker. Yep, and then you're fishing. Even though I'm not a fan of Contiki and longline fishing, I'm grateful to Arthur for showing us the fish seeker. I thought it might be of interest to some of you guys out there. It's always fun to have a look at different fishing styles and technologies available to us fishermen.
So please leave us a comment what you think about Contiki's and the Fish Seeker. Would you buy one for yourself? It was a nice demonstration of the uh, fish seeker. Thanks to Arthur for showing us this. Well, although we couldn't catch anything, I was kind of keen to learn a little bit more about it, how that lightweight mini Contiki is set up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you kind of got something out of it. And uh, you know, uh, maybe it helps you to make a decision if a Contiki is right for you or not, and what a Contiki is in the first place. So, all right, as always, don't forget to check us out at uh, fishingreminder.com. We help you save some time by giving you the best fishing times, tide times, fishing weather and all this kind of stuff. And in our videos we try to give you some fishing tips and um, advice to you know, save you some money as well. Alright, that's it from us in this video and we'll see you next time. Alright, cheers guys.